organization of power plant engineering my name is vishal acharya today we will discuss about the principle of jet propulsion types of jet first principle of jet propulsion first we will discuss about the history of the jet propulsion the aeroplane consists of a vessel usually a simple solid of revolution such a sphere of cylinder arranged to the rotate on the axis having a oppositely bent or nozzle the projection from it like a tip jets when the vessel is pressurized with the steam is steam is expand through the nozzle which generate the thrust due to the principle as a consequence of the second and third of the newton's law of motion when the nozzle pointing the different direction produce forces in the different line of the action perpendicular to the axis of the wheel the thrust combined to a result in a rotating motor movement like a mechanical couple or torque bring the vessel to spin about the axis this is the history about the jet here aerodynamic drag and friction forces in the bearing build up the quickly and increasing the rotational speed consume the accelerating torque eventually cancelling it is at your steady state speed typically and as a hero described this device the water is heated in a simple boiler in swan figure which form the part of the stand for the rotating which where this is the case the boiler is connected to the rotating chamber by a pair of the pipes that also serve as the pipes for the chamber alternately the rotating chamber may itself serve the boiler and the arrangement is greatly simplify the pivot bearing element as they then do not need to pass the steam this can be seen in the figure of a here classroom model what is the jet propulsion system it is the propulsion of jet aircraft or rocket engine which do not use any atmospheric air other missile right the rejection of the jet coming out with the high velocity jet propulsion in use when the oxygen is obtained from the surrounding atmosphere jet propulsion is based on the newton's second and third law of motion newton's second law state that the range of the momentum in any direction is proportional to the force acting in this direction and newton's third law say that for every action there is equal and opposite reaction in propulsion momentum is imparted to a mass of the fluid in a such a manner that the reaction of the imparted moment furnishes a propulsive force the jet aircraft draw in air and expel it to the rear at a markedly increase the velocity the rocket is generally changes the velocity of its fuel which is eject the reverse of the product of the combustion in each of the action of the accelerating the mass of the fluid is given direction create the reaction in the opposite direction in the form of the propulsive force the magnitude of the propulsive force is defined as a thrust here in a shown figure here basic theory of the jet propulsion is the propelling force generated in the direction opposite to the flow of the mass of the gas or liquid under the pressure the mass escape through the hole or opening is called a jet nozzle a familiar is example of the nozzle at the end of the hose the nozzle from the similar pathway which must be water the nozzle increase the velocity of water and giving the jet of the propulsion of inflate balloon here in shown figure balloon closed in figure 1 there is no action because the pressure of the gas side the balloon is equal in all direction but when you all the allow to opening the release the air at second figure the balloon moves movement appear to be in all direction However, it is always moving in opposite direction from the open end where the air is existing. Here, in this chapter, we will discuss about the various types of the jet propulsion engines. The jet propulsion engines are classified basically 
method of the operation two main category jet propulsion engine are atmospheric jet engine and the rocket atmospheric engine require oxygen from the atmospheric air for the conversion of the fuel as a result their performance depend upon the great degree on the forward speed of the engine and upon the atmospheric pressure and temperature the rocket engine differs from the atmospheric jet engine in that the entire mass of the jet is generated from the propellants carried within the engine the record engine carries its own oxygen from the conversion of the fuel and therefore the independent upon the atmospheric air the performance of this type of the power plant is independent of the forward speed and affect the maximum about percent change the altitude in a ramjet engine is air breathing engine which operate on the same principle as turbojet engine it the basic operating cycle is similar to of the turbojet it compresses the incoming air by the pressure adds the heat energy to the velocity and produces the thrust by converting the kinetic energy of the incoming air into the pressure the ramjet is able to operate without any mechanical compressor therefore this engine no require moving parts and is mechanically the simplest type of the jet engine it has been the device since it depends on the velocity of the incoming air for the needed compressor the ramjet will not operate statically for the reason it requires the turbojet or rocket assist to accelerate it to operating speed here at supersonic speed the ramjet engine is capable of producing very high thrust with very high, high efficiency the characteristics make it quite useful for the high speed aircraft or missiles where is greater power and lower weight make the flight possible in this region where it would be impossible with any other power plant except rocket ramjet has not been used the supersonic speed where their low cost and light weight could be used to the advantage here in a swan figure principle of the operation the ramjet consists in swan figure diffuser fuel injector flame gas combustion chamber and exit nozzle the air is taken by the diffuser in compress in two stage in swan below figure the external compression takes because of the bulk of the approaching engine forces the air changes its course Further, the compression is accomplished in the diverging section of the ramjet diffusion is shown second figure upward. Fuel is injected into the mix with the air in the diffuser. The flame holder provide a very low velocity region favorable to the flame propagation, and the fuel and air mixer recirculate within its sheltered area and ignite with the fresh charge as it passes the edge of the flame holder. the burning gas is then passed through the combustion chamber in swan figure and increasing in the temperature and therefore in volume because of the volume of the air increase it must be speed up to the gate of the way of the fresh charge following behind it and it further increase the velocity across the air is squeezed out throughout the exit nozzle and the thrust produced by the engine is proportional to increase the this velocity advantage of ramjet ramjet is very simple and does not have any moving part so, so it is very cheap and it require almost no maintenance since the turbine is not used for the maximum temperature which can be allowed to ramjet is very high temperature like 2000 degrees celsius to compare to about 100 degrees celsius in turbojet this allows a greater thrust to be the obtained by the burning of the fuel Here the actual ratio is about 15.1, which gives higher temperature. So here more efficiently in turbojet. The specific fuel consumption is better than the turbojet engine at higher speed and higher altitudes. So here in a higher height and higher speed is better than the turbojet. There seems to be no upper limit to be flight speed of the. ramjet here 
the disadvantage of ramjet here since the comparison of air is obtained by the ratio of the speed relative to the engine the take off thrust is zero and it is not possible start a ramjet without any external launching device so here required the another device for the launching or started purpose the engine heavily relies on the diffuser and is very difficult to the designer diffuser which give a good pressure recovery over a wide range of the speed so this is the disadvantage range of the speed due to the high air speed the combustion chamber require frame holder to stabilize the combustion at a very high temperature of about 2000 degree celsius dislocation of the product combustion occurs which will be reduce the efficiency of the plant and if not recover the nozzle during the expansion this is the disadvantage of the ramj the main application of ramj due to the higher stress higher operational speed is widely used in a high speed aircraft and missiles subsonic ramj are used as a target weapon in the conjunction with the turbojet or rocket for getting the starting torque first jet engine is a intermediate compressor and aerodynamic power plant which few or none of the mechanical features of conventional aviation power plant in this the simplest form of the operation of the pulse jet depends on the property of atmospheric air fuel shape of the tube some type of check valve and not on the interposition of the piston impeller blade or the other mechanical part whose geometry and motion are controllable the pulse jet can be different to other type air bracing engine in the air flow through the is intermediate it can be produce static thrust here the operation of the pulse jet during the starting compressed air is forced into the inlet which open the spring loaded taper valve in the practical or this may be done by the blowing the compressed air through the valve box or by the motion of the engine through the air the air that enters the engine passes by the fuel injector and is mixed with the fuel when the fuel air mixer reaches the proper portion of the burn it is lighted by a spark plug the burning takes place with a explosive process thus in the is very rapid rise in pressure the increase in the pressure forces the flapper valve shut and propel the change of the burn gas out to the tailpipe the momentum of this is leaving the tailpipe causes the air is to continue flow out after the pressure within the engine has reached atmospheric pressure the pressure within the engine is therefore evacuated below atmosphere after the pressure has reached its very lowest point at point number 3 atmospheric pressure and ram pressure if the engine is in high here the pressure forces air into the engine throughout the flapper valve at the same time air will be also be drawn into through the tailpipe since the pressure within the tailpipe is low and there is nothing to prevent to entry air. at that point the engine is ready to begin the another cycle the frequency of the cycle depend upon the duct shape and working temperature in the v1 rocket it is about the 40 cubic per second which corresponding to about the 2400 rpm of two stroke reciprocating engine once the engine operation has become established the spark plug is no longer necessary and the re ignition between the each cycle is complete with the fresh charge of the fuel and air is ignited by the some residual flame which is left over the previous cycle the air flow which is re enter the tailpipe is important from both the engine operation and thrust ten points here experiment have shown that here the amount of the air which flow into the tailpipe can be several time of as much which flow into the inlet the mass flow of the air is increases thrust of the engine by providing the additional mass for the explosion pressure or work on it also increases the pressure within the engine is beginning at the explosion of the cycle resulting in a more efficient burning process and air in the tailpipe is made more difficult as the air spread surrounding the engine increases the stress on the engine therefore the tends to decrease with the speed at the very 
speed increases the amount of the re-entering air flow decreases to the point where the internal pressure is eventually too low to the support the combustion and the engine will be not longer the operate. Advantage of the first jet here this is very simple device only next to the ram jet it is very light in weight and it requires very small and occasional maintainer compared to ram jet here maintenance is required unlike the ram jet it is a static thrust because of the compressor starting thrust it does not require the initial propulsion the uh, ram jet we require the launching device here not require any launching device it can be run almost any type of the liquid fuel without much effect of the performance it can be also operated on the gas solid fuel with little modification so it is advantage of any fuel use pulse jet is very relatively cheap compared to the ram jet this advantage of the ram jet is the here here advantage of ram jet specific consumption here disadvantage of pulse jet here biggest disadvantage is very short life of flapper valve high rate of fuel consumption here the specific fuel consumption is a high state of the ram jet the speed of the pulse jet is uh, limited within a very narrow range about uh, 650 to 800 km per hour because of the limitation in the aerodynamic design of efficient diffuser suitable for a wide range so here range of the speed is very narrow limited compared to the jet the high degree of the vibration due to the intermediate nature of the cycle and the buzzing noise and made it is uh, suitable for the pilotless craft only here it is a lower propulsion efficiency than the turbojet engine the operational range of the pulse jet is limited in altitude range so here height is also limited application of pulse jet is german v1 burst bomb American helicopter companies, jet, jeep, helicopters, auxiliary power plant for sail plants. This is the application of pulse jet. Turbojet engine. Turbojet engine consists of the diffuser which slow down the entrance there and thereby compress it here. It has slow down the entrance there and thereby compress it. It's simple open cycle of the gas turbine and exit gas into the kinetic energy. The increase the velocity of air thereby produces the thrust in figures so that the basic arrangement of diffuser, compressor, combustion chamber, turbine and the exhaust nozzle of a turbojet engine. Of the total pressure rise of the air, a part is obtained by the rain compression in the diffuser and raised in the compressor. The diffuser is convert the kinetic energy of air into the pressure energy. If the ideal diffuser, the air is diffused isentropically down to the zero velocity. In the actual diffuser, the process is irreversible adiabatic. So here, air leaves the diffuser at a velocity between the 60 to 120 meters per second. Here, the centrifugal compressor used give a pressure rate of 4 to 5 in a single stage and usually double-sided rotor is used. The turbojet engine using the centrifugal compressor as a short and steady efficiency. The advantage of the centrifugal compressor are high durability, ease of the manufacture and the low cost of the good option under the adverse by condition. Such a, when the sand and the small foraging particles are inhaled in the in inlet duct, the primary disadvantage of the lack of the straight through the air flow. The air leaves the compressor in a radial direction and ducting with the attendant pressure losses is necessary to change the direction. Here, axial flow is sufficient than the centrifugal type, give the turbojet a long slim and streamlined appearance. The engine diameter is reduced which results in the low aircraft grade. A multi-state axial flow compressor can be developed the pressure ratio as high as 6 or more. The air handled by it is more than that handled of by a centrifugal compressor of the same diameter. The variation of the axial compressor here 
twins full means the dual full speed full or coaxial compressor has two or more section each revolving or near the optimum speed at pressure ratio and volume here very high pressure ratio like 9 to the 13 the use of the high pressure ratio give a very good specific fuel consumption and uh, necessary for the rating region more force of the 50000 the combustion chamber heat is added to the compressor air nearly at the constant pressure the three type being the can annular and can annular in this type of annular burner or cans are mounted in circle around the engine axis V T H one receiving the air to the own cylindrical screws. One of the main disadvantage of can time burner is they uh, do not make the best use of the available space, and this result is the larger diameter engine. On the other end, the burner and individually removable for the inspection, and the air fuel patterns are the easier to controllable than the annular design. The annual burner is essentially a single member made of the concrete cylinder mounted on the coaxially above the engine axis. The arrangement makes more complex use the available space. Has low pressure loss, fits well with the axial compressor and the turbine and form of the technical viewpoint the efficiency. But a disadvantage is structural problem may rise due to the larger diameter thin wall cylinder required with the type of chamber. The problem is more served when the large engine use. There is also some disadvantage in the entire combustion more, more removable and inspection is repaired. The hot is the expand to the exit nozzle and the energy of the hot gases is converted into the much kinetic energy as is possible. This change is the velocity of the air passing through the engine multiple by the mass speed of the air changes which produce the air thrust. The nozzle can be fixed at or variable area of the nozzle. Variable area nozzle permit the turbojet to operate the maximum efficiency over a wide range of power output. The need and being fulfilled by the turbojet engine are first low specific weight 1 by 4 to the 1 by 2 of the reciprocating engine so here specific weight is very less relatively simplicity here no unbalanced forces or reciprocating engine here the vibration is minimum or negligible compared to the reciprocating engine here small frontal area so reduce the airing problem less than the 1 by 4 frontal area of the reciprocating engine give a large and decrease the natural drag and consequently giving a greater available access thrust of the power or particularly at high speed so here the rate force is minimum so here our power required is minimum not restricted in power output means the year engine can be built with the greatly increased power output over that of the reciprocating engine without the accomplishing the disadvantage here here higher speed can be obtained not restricted by propeller speed below the 800 kmi per hour so this is very high speed this is the advantage of turbojet